Good afternoon, LHS. I'm Megan Gifford. And I'm Sam Bruceman. We have a fantastic show for you guys today. Including info about the fire that happened at Wendy's this week. An interview about how finals will be a little different this year. Some big daily announcements. And as always, your KLHS Sports Report. So tune in. Because this is, is your, your KLHS, KLHS broadcast. broadcast. I'm really craving a Baconator. Sam, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the Liberty Wendy's caught on fire Tuesday night. So I've heard. In all seriousness, we are very sorry for anyone who may have lost their job and or place of work. Thankfully, however, according to KMBC 9, the only injury that was sustained was a very small one by a firefighter during the incident. The fire, which broke out at 8.54 p.m., appeared to be caused by some sort of electrical malfunction. Sadly, by the time the fire was put out, the Wendy's had completely burned down. What's more is that the fire was completely visible for all the students attending the LHS soccer game Tuesday night. Now to start off some announcements today. Starting off on announcements today, if you are a student who has received a vaccination not including the flu vaccine, please send a copy of your Im updated Im immunization record to the health room. Or your records may be emailed to Carla Hausman at lps53.org or faxed to the number 736-5319. Attention all ninth graders, there will be a vision screening in May. If you do not want the vision screening, please email the health room at again, carla.hausman at lps53.org. It's now that time for the EOCs, so a reminder to make sure to get lots of sleep and eat before the test so you can do your absolute best. Good luck, LHS students, on your EOCs. Seniors, a reminder that on May 19th is the annual senior breakfast for class of 2021, and it's at 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. in the LHS Commons. This event is free, but please fill out the Google form in your email by May 3rd so you can attend. The breakfast will be followed by a mandatory graduation rehearsal for all seniors. Graduation is May 23rd at 11.30 a.m. We want to congratulate congratulate our LHS singers who competed in the LHS vocal and ensemble solo competition. They had 20 soloists earn gold, 14 soloists earn silver, and four ensembles win gold with four ensembles who, were, who won silver. Jostens will be at lunch today for the sophomore class rings. So don't forget to pick those up sophomores. The KLHS telethon will be running April 30th, so get excited for that. Now let's go to a quick commercial break. <laughs> Hit, swim, play at Clavia Country Club, where everyone is a champion. As a member, come enjoy the luxurious lounge, pool, and fitness area. Come be a champion. Visit us at 7990 North Farley Ave or call 816-781-7939. As the end of the year continues to get closer and closer, so does the end of the year finals for LHS students. However, as COVID has changed up a lot this year, finals is no exception. That's right. Finals this year are going to be looking completely different. You may be asking yourself, what are finals going to look like this year? And honestly, we've been asking ourselves the same question. So let's go over to an interview with Mr. Champ to see how finals will be looking this year. Hi, I'm Mark Hedberg for KLHS here with I'm Mr. Brewer. How are finals going to be different this year for your class, Mr. Brewer? Uh, well, uh, we're trying to take into consideration sort of just that this has been a different year. And so uh, our chemistry team is kind of looking at what are the essential skills uh, that we really want students to uh, leave with and try to distill down um, kind of our, our tests down to mainly those things. How are you preparing students for the finals? Um, really, just like uh, in years past where we're going to do some in-class review, the nice thing about chemistry is that, you know, the concepts kind of build on themselves. So in a way, they've been preparing all year. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to run some review sessions where um, students have to apply what they've learned throughout the year, and uh, I, think, uh, I think they'll do great. 
Thank you for your time. This is Mark Hedberg signing off for KLHS. Gary Crosley Ford is the best local dealership located at 8050 North Church Road in Kansas City, Missouri. If you're looking for a new or used car, truck, or SUV, Gary Crosley Ford has the best inventory in the Kansas City metro area. Gary Crosley Ford has a friendly, reliable staff, the best service, and you are sure to have a great buying experience. Go make your next purchase today. From Kaylee Chess, this is Taylor Anderson. Now I want some Baskin Robbins. You sound pretty hungry today, Sam. Well, I didn't eat breakfast today. That's not healthy, Sam. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Why is that, Meg? Well, let's go to our talented athletes, and they need energy to compete in their sports. Speaking of our talented student athletes, our spring sports team seems to be doing very well. Let's go over to Brock and Cadence for more of our daily sports report. Welcome back yet again for another sports report. I'm Cadence Breyer again alongside Brock Kresge here to talk about more spring sports. Kicking things off, men's tennis competed in a match against Ray Peck last night and won 9 to nothing, led by Noah and Nico Cook, who defeated their opponent by a score of 8-0. to zero. Noah and Nico took home third place in the A group doubles. It was a great adding by the duo team, and RJ's tennis keeps rolling onwards. In further news, men's baseball defeated crosstown rivals Liberty North by a score of 2-1. to one. Well, it was a victory that left a sour taste in the Eagles' mouths. Liberty went on to lose against Blue Springs South yesterday by a score of 3-2. The Jays have had a solid pitching outing in both affairs. Carson Milbrant picking up the win with six strikeouts against North and Brock Tony recording six strikeouts against Blue Spring South. Men's baseball will be competing in a tough tournament in, a in the coming days as they will face several top Kansas teams in the process, including Blue Valley, Blue Valley West, and Derby. Blue Valley is the third ranked team in Kansas. Blue Valley West is a ninth ranked team in Derby the 15th. This will definitely be a test for the dominant Jays baseball team. Agreed. And they have been willing a lot lately, and after putting them head-to-head -head against better teams in our neighboring state, this will definitely give us some insight on how good they actually are. And further news, women's soccer won a nail-biter against Liberty North on Tuesday as they took the Eagles to two overtimes and eventually sealed the deal with a score of 2-1. to one. Women's soccer will face Raymore Peculiar tonight at 6.30. In the realm of pro sports, the Kansas City Royals lost to the Tampa Bay Rays by a score of 14-7 to seven on Tuesday, and then won against the Rays by a score of 9-8 to eight yesterday to avoid the sweep. They move on to 10 to 7 on the season. This was your KLHS Sports Report. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Brock and Kids, for that sports report. If you will please stand for the pledge now. A flag of allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and, and justice for all. That's all the time we have for today. This has been Lexus, Mark Hedberg, Cadence Breyer, Brock Kresge reporting and our wonderful crew. And I'm Sam Bruceman. And I'm Megan Gifford. For KLHS, peace, peace out, out Jays. Jays.